Hello, hi. First things first, I want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, my name is Jamila and I have a couples channel with my husband. His name is Marcel and our channel's name is Jamila and Marcel. And the story that I'm about to tell you about is documented in our vlog channel, but I want to give you a brief synopsis of what I went through five days ago and how I got to here today. So it all began the day before Thanksgiving. I was planning to go to Alabama to visit my family and I was experiencing some bad breakouts and I was just irritated with my skin. So I decided that I wanted to go in and remove the hair from my face. I personally felt like when there is no hair on my face, my face is smooth my makeup goes on better and I'm just I just feel better like my skin is better so I owned a tube of Nair that is now in the trash but I did own a tube of Nair and it was facial cream Nair I'll post a picture here so I put it on my face fresh out the shower and I put the Nair on my face I'll use the oh that's the first time I did this I used a brush to put the Nair on I wonder if that could have been, I don't know. Anyways, I used a brush to apply the Nair to my face. I made a mistake. I did read the directions. The directions did say to apply for five minutes and then take it off. And then if you see, still see hair, then you need to apply it for another five minutes, not to exceed 10 minutes. So I saw that as, you know, I can have it on there for at least 10 minutes. Anyways, I put the Nair on, I let it sit, and I kind of monitored the time, and about five minutes had passed. I felt like the longer you leave it on, the better it will be. But I personally believe I left the Nair on too long. I went downstairs for like two or three minutes, came back upstairs, I rinsed the Nair off. By, the time, by that time, my husband was up here with me, and I washed my face and I was red. Now you see how brown skin I am. My husband sees me wash the nair off my face and my face is bloodshot red, 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 red. This is not the first time I've used nair on my face, but this was like, it was just extreme. But I still didn't think too much of it. I immediately put on some makeup because we had a date night where we went to go see Creed 2. And when we went to go see Creed 2, I had my makeup on. I was looking super cute. I had like this yellow eyeshadow look. I just felt too cute that night. But I do remember my face being red. And that night, once we got back from the movies, I came home and I rinsed the makeup off. And my face still had a blood shot red color or tint to it i still didn't think anything of it i think i moisturized my face and we were in the car and i still had to like do maybe like some mascara or something as i'm putting my mascara on i look at my face and my chin looks funny it looks like another layer of skin it was just like wrinkled and bunched up right like right here in this area mind you i put the nair all over my face like all everywhere my, and my face was bloodshot red everywhere but this particular area was just oh my gosh so then by the next morning i am itching everywhere like all of this is itching i just i'm just itching really 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 bad so i'm like scratching scratching scratch i asked my husband i was like i was like honey do you see anything on my neck because my neck feels weird it felt like it was swelling up from the scratches and i felt it and he was like no i don't see anything you're fine you're fine at this point i'm like i don't know what's going on with me but I am itching so badly everywhere. Like the next morning I was itching everywhere. As time progressed, I began to itch even more and more and more. Something just told me to get up and go to the bathroom. I get up, go to the bathroom. This half of my face is like swollen. Like one part of my chin, like this part of my chin was like hanging. It was like so much bigger. Like this side of my face was so swollen and it had bumps all over and my skin felt like reptile skin. And then I look on my neck and I see all these red welts from all of my scratches. And then I'm starting to scratch even more. So I'm scratching everywhere. This area I had a patch like in this area. Basically I began to develop a rash and what we believe now is that I had an allergic reaction to me leaving the cream on too long. So 
it was so bad to where the next day I was like, I cannot do this anymore. I'm scratching everywhere. Everywhere that I scratched, I got small bumps and they were just so, it was scaly skin. It was just really, really bad. I was like, we have to go to the doctor. We go to the doctor and on our way to the doctor, Marcel starts itching. I was like, honey, are you itching too? He's like, yeah, for, you know, just a little scratch. I was like, uh, -uh let me see your arm. I pulled back his sweatshirt sleeve and he has bumps. He has red bumps on his skin and he's itching. So how do we go from putting on the nair, gelly skin on my chin, to welts on my neck, to welts all over my body along with red bumps, red welts. It was just so bad. And then it spread to my husband like what is going on? So we go to the doctor and I'm so happy to say that as of now, I honestly feel like whatever I was given, it took away the rash but it also like gave me like this luminous like smooth skin like i have no pimples nowhere i did get one this weekend like maybe sunday one came up but it's pretty much gone but i have like no pimples I don't remember the last time I didn't have any pimples. So basically he gave me a, some steroid pills and some cream for the itching. And I will post a picture here for the cream. And I'll post a picture here for the pills, the steroid pills. And so for the pills, he asked me to do those two pills per day for five days out of the week. And then for the cream, just put it on twice a day to get rid of the itch. And by the first day, the itch was like leaving. By the second day, my face had cleared up like there were no more bumps. The only thing was my skin under here was still a little scaly. And I was scared about that. But as of right now, every, everything feels so good. I am so happy to report that I made it out of that Nair debacle. And I am better now. Before I went to the doctor, I tried every. Thing. I tried cold towel, I tried aloe vera gel, I tried coconut oil, I tried cocoa butter, none of it worked. I even tried Vaseline and everything just, it was just so bad. I was itching so bad all over my body. So happy to report that I'm better now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more details, you can go to my joint channel with my husband. It is Jamila and Marcel. We documented this entire process. See you next time.